Hello other members of the Rainy Day Writing Guild and people of the internet. This week our topic is our favorite author's writing habits. So I will be talking about Michael Grant who wrote the Gone series and a couple other series and along with his wife he wrote the Animorph books. And Maria V. Snyder who wrote the Inside Out series, the Study series, the Sea Glass series, a whole bunch of series that are mostly interconnected and I'll put images up of them. As far as actually sitting down and writing, both Maria V. Snyder and Michael Grant are seat of the pants kind of writers. They don't have outlines. They maybe have some kind of notion of where they want to go with the book, but a lot of it happens as they're writing, which is also how I tend to write, so I'm not super surprised that they're my favorite authors in the world. As far as the actual writing routine goes for my authors, Maria V. Snyder says that she writes from 10 p.m. at night until 3 or 4 a.m., and then she sleeps until 10 or 11 a.m., and she writes in her office at home, and she also plays music in the background. Michael Grant, on the other hand, doesn't give a ton of information about what time of day he writes, but he says that he writes for about three hours a day, and it takes him about six months to finish a book. Both of my writers talk about the importance of persistence in being a good writer and getting published. Michael Grant has a really good quote at the end of one of his articles, and it says, Do what it takes. I have three rules for not screwing your life up. A. Don't get pregnant or get anyone pregnant. B. Don't become addicted. C. Don't kill anyone, including yourself. Avoid these three things and you'll probably be okay. But short of those three things, do whatever the hell it takes to get your book written. You have to be ruthless because some part of your brain is going to try desperately to stop you. Yes, it will. You are the enemy you must defeat. So with all that being said about my authors, and I will put links in the description to all of these articles and both of their websites, I wanted to talk a little bit about everybody else's videos from the past week. So Joy, you mentioned in your article the importance of reading as an author, and I definitely agree. I think the more you read, the better a writer you will become. Getting that exposure to how other authors do things, saying, oh, I like this, but I don't like that, or I want to do something similar. That's a really good source of inspiration. It also helps you learn new words, which is another one of your questions. You're talking about should we be using big words? I think we should. I think there's a difference, however, between using big words and using jargon. So there are some big words that you use, and I still read books to this day that sometimes I have to look up a word. Nobody knows every single word, even in their native language. Sometimes people get a little too much into jargon. I think this happens mostly in academic writing. I don't see it too much in fiction. I see it sometimes in high fantasy where the author has spent so much time world building and they have all these beautiful specific words and places and it's amazing. The problem is, is I don't necessarily want to learn a whole new language just to enjoy a book. And I think that's where the limit is. I think use fun big words all you want. Just don't go too crazy. And now to talk about last week's videos. So Guy, I couldn't focus on anything except for the cat in your video. I love cats so much. I would love to see more cats in the videos. <laughs> Um, Jake, it's really awesome that you write everywhere too, and please join me in Skyrim sometimes. It's fun. Uh, Devin, I love all your different writing spaces and the different things you do to write, and you have such a cozy little room. I love it. And Lydia, I love your little walks and all the places you to go, and every time you showed something else on your desk, I was like, ooh, candles, ooh, pens, ooh, I love your Google. I call mine Sally. I was gonna call her Sally, but I stopped myself. Anyway, that's it for me this week. I will talk to you guys next week.